KDE Neon has now been rebased onto Ubuntu 1804 long-term support, which was codenamed Bionic Beaver. I've checked out the user edition of the ISO and it is indeed now based on Ubuntu 1804. There is an upgrade path from the older 1604 edition, but the advice is any non-KDE software can cause the upgrades to fail. So if you have lots of non-KDE software installed, especially from third-party PPAs, you should be ready to have the upgrade go wrong and potentially end up with a broken system. We suggest that you do a clean installation and restore your data from a backup. Using third-party software such as app images, flat packs, or snaps largely eliminates this problem, something to keep in mind for the future. Normally I would have gone down the route of reviewing a distribution, but for KDE Neon, there really is nothing much to review. What we have with KDE Neon is the latest and greatest version of the KDE Plasma desktop. In this case, at time of release or time of recording, it is at version 5.13.5. The KDE desktop will remain at the bleeding edge throughout the life of the distribution. So you have a rolling release desktop on a stable long-term support Ubuntu base. It is not just the desktop which gets upgraded, it is also the associated KDE applications. And you will sometimes find more of a variety of KDE apps compared to the likes of Kubuntu. We have the Linux kernel 4.15, and confirming via LSB release A, we have the Bionic or version 1804 release of Ubuntu. KD Neon is a very minimal distribution. I've gone and installed a few applications while I was messing around, so I installed LibreOffice from a snap, and I also installed KDN Live. What it comes with by default is the Discover Software Center, Firefox web browser, an image viewer, basic text editor, and VLC media player. So yes, it is a very minimal system. And it certainly is quite snappy. Seems to be quicker than Kubuntu. Not entirely sure why there. Maybe it is the newer release of the Plasma desktop. Well, I currently have the Plasma 5.12 desktop in Kubuntu 18.04. So yeah, I'm very interested in going back to KD Neon because I did enjoy my time using the distribution What's happened for me was I got newer hardware and the older kernel really was a detriment to the system and doing an upgrade to the kernel made it difficult to run snap-based applications. So there's no problems now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change distributions. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.